Hey guys, what's good? So one of the first real videos I made on this channel was a simple 3D printed robotic gripper that used cables to actuate and grab things. The project I have today is in many ways a spiritual successor to that one. This is what I call the print in place gripper. It's mostly 3D printed, yet all as one piece. As a result, it's incredibly easy to build, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. Fabricating the gripper starts with printing. It relies on live hinges in order to move, so the one part must be printed all in a flexible material, such as Willow Flex, Semi Flex, or Ninja Flex. You'll also probably want to print it on a glass bed or other very clean print surface, as there are a lot of live hinges, and the first layer must be perfect. Once printed, just take it off the print bed and it is ready to have the other components installed. First, fit a metal geared micro servo motor into the back of the gripper. Then attach a circular servo horn onto it. Twist the motor to its zero position and make sure that there's a hole that lines up with each arm of the gripper on the horn. Tighten it down with the screw that came with your servo. Now onto the cables. Take some thin nylon string or fishing line and thread it through the center of one arm from the outside to the center. Once it has reached the hub, thread it through the corresponding hole on the servo horn from underneath. Pull it through and cut the line so there's about 4 inches of it on each end. Screw in an 8mm M3 screw into one end of the arm and use a small Phillips screw to secure the string onto the horn. Repeat this for all four arms. After this, it's basically done. As you can see, it's remarkably easy to build and doesn't take long to make. To operate it, you can connect it up to an Arduino and use the sample code in the Instructables guide to turn the motor, reel in the cables, and get the gripper moving. <laughs> So I hope you walk away from this video with some inspiration as to how robotics can be simplified and made quite elegantly. If you want to build one of these for yourself, I suggest you take a look at the Instructables guide and Thingiverse page for the gripper that I have linked in the description. If you like this video, then you should know what to do, and if you want to follow my work into the future, then subscribe. I'll catch you later, XYZ Aiden, out. Yeah.